Hey everybody, Prepper for the Ages coming at you from my secret location. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't know, I just like saying that. Uh, how are you doing? It is sat uh, Sunday. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my gosh, it is Sunday, the 20th of November 2022. And we have quite the windstorm today. It is brisk out. It is cold out. I have been outside with both the dogs and also in the garden doing the last of the garden pulls. Uh, it is a chore and it is a big chore. And um, I might still do a video outside on that, but not today because not only would you not be able to hear anything if I did it in regular uh, regular speed. If I did the um, time-lapse photography, the tripod would uh, keel over. Basically, there there are small there are small items that are basically being blown into different people's yards today. So, but anyway, I wanted to tell you that we have in our town we have a new edict. The new edict is thou shalt not. Thou shalt not put clothing or any cloth stuff in the garbage. So you can't, uh, when you take out the trash, you can't put the clothes in the garbage. You can't put the clothes in the recycling. You have to find an alternative place to put the garbage, whether it is donating it. I don't know. I don't know what they do for rags, you know, oil rags and whatnot. But you, apparently you can't put them in the garbage these days. So um, I'm thinking that the... Uh, you know the the Wally World <laughs> places will take a hit, and we'll see a slowdown of the cheap clothing being bought and worn. So, uh, in case you don't know, if you don't if you don't shop there, um, this 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 clothing, including this here, the clothing is is just made to fall apart. You use it a few times, either it gets very thin or comes apart, or it is very raggedy. The seams come out. And it's not good. So it is something to that will most likely slow down um, the landfills getting filled up. But people are starting to try to think about alternatives to doing this. So uh, one of the investments to counter that, one of the investments I'm doing is trying to upgrade my clothes. So I got this. This is a very expensive sweater. Um, knock on wood, the puppy doesn't get to it. Oh my god, hopefully the puppy doesn't get to it. Um, I'm doing this. I am investing in high quality uh, items and timeless. I'm trying to make sure that they're kind of the timeless, high quality items. And it's something that will help in a grid down situation. <laughs> It will, because you're not going through your shirts every year or two and having to continuously buy the next cheap shirt or whatnot. So I, I'm thinking that people will save more on what they're buying uh, by buying higher quality, more durable clothing and uh, going from there. So yes, it does take more of an investment. So people have to save up money that they perhaps don't have in order to save up for the expensive items of clothing. And I understand that. And sometimes it really sucks uh, that you really can't afford the expensive stuff, but you're wasting time, you're wasting money over the long run because you keep having to buy throwaway clothes. So there we go. But um, I'm thinking that uh, their loss is your gain. Uh, there, are some, there are people that want to throw out old uh, sheets, queen sheets, twin sheets, you know, king sheets, uh, flat sheets and fitted sheets and whatnot. And so I think you'll see a little cottage industry uh, pop up of uh, making rag rugs and how to make rag rugs. And, and especially there are places online, uh, there are YouTube videos on how to make a rag rug. And it's really simple. It's painstaking. It's painfully simple. So if you haven't figured out how to make a rag rug, um, I have the materials and stuff for my little rag rug. I haven't gotten gotten a chance to get to it because uh, my puppy's a land shark and just uh, he's at the everything goes in his mouth stage. But um, so yeah, so uh, it's really simple. If you have some old sheets or whatnot, if your neighbor has old sheets, to go to you just you know take three or four inches, you rip it down there into four inch swaths, and then that's what you use, and it's really simple. So anyways, um, that's what's going on today uh, on Sunday. It's both uh, clear and cold and windy out, and um, yes, uh, 
trying to upgrade my wardrobe. Less is more. Less is more. I guess I'm going with less is more. And that's basically, that's another thing we need to do with being a prepper, not uh, overstash, being a clothes horse, being anything like that, being, you know, just keep the things that you need. Okay. All right. I hope this finds you well. Have a happy Sunday. <laughs> Take care. Bye.